John and his family had just moved into their new house. The house was old and had a spooky vibe to it. The family didn't mind it much as they thought it was just their imagination playing tricks on them. However, things started to get strange when they began to hear noises in the middle of the night. John thought it was just the house settling, but the noises continued. He began to see shadows moving in the corner of his eye, but when he turned around, nothing was there. John was starting to get worried about the house and decided to investigate. As he was walking down the hallway, he heard a faint whisper in his ear. He quickly turned around, but there was no one there. Suddenly, the lights flickered, and he felt a cold breeze blow past him. John was terrified and ran back to his room. The next morning, John told his wife about the strange occurrences, but she didn't believe him. She thought he was just being paranoid. That night, the family went to bed as usual. However, in the middle of the night, John woke up to find his wife missing. He searched the whole house but couldn't find her. Suddenly, he heard a scream coming from the basement. John rushed down to find his wife lying on the ground with scratches all over her body. She was barely conscious and couldn't speak. John immediately took her to the hospital. The doctors couldn't explain the scratches on her body, and John knew that something was wrong with the house. He decided to do some research and found out that the house was built on an old cemetery. John knew that the spirits of the dead must be haunting the house. He decided to call in a paranormal investigator to help him get rid of the spirits. The investigator found out that there were several ghosts in the house, and they were angry at the living for disturbing their resting place. After a few days of investigating, the investigator was able to communicate with the spirits and convince them to leave the house. The family was relieved, and they were finally able to live in peace. However, John could never forget the horror that they had gone through. He knew that the spirits were still out there, waiting for someone else to disturb their resting place.